In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 tallest buildings in the world. So before starting this video, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Humanity has become obsessed with pushing the boundaries of what is possible, setting new milestones just to smash them again and again. Indeed, the skylines of our cities have always been shaped by those in control at any given time in history. Churches left their mark at one time, followed by public institutions, and in recent decades, commercial skyscrapers have continued to stretch ever higher. The Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat CTBUH, has created its own classification system for tall buildings, claiming that the Burj Khalifa 828 meters, is currently the world's tallest structure. Here's a list of the tallest buildings in the world. Let's start. Number 10. Taipei 101. Taipei 101 is a world-class example of sustainable skyscraper growth, standing in Taipei's Xinyi district, which is renowned for its financial services and vibrant shopping malls. In 2011, it earned LEED Platinum Certification for Operations and Maintenance, which is a remarkable achievement for a structure of this scale and complexity. The tower is designed in the shape of a Chinese pagoda, with eight-story modules that flare outward from the base. The mechanical floors at the top of each module house garbage systems, ventilation equipment, water storage, and MEP services. Taipei 101 is equipped with a 728-ton tuned mass damper, TMD, a massive spherical steel pendulum that compensates for lateral displacement caused by strong winds. Number 9. Siddiq Tower. The Siddiq Tower will be the centerpiece of Beijing's 30-hectare central business district heart, which has been meticulously designed. The gently rising and curving shape of the tower is reminiscent of an ancient Chinese ceremonial vessel known as the Zun. The idea is based on a changing shell that bends gradually to produce a dramatic shape. Other core elements of the tower, such as the exits, ground floor lobby, and observation deck, are all built with this idea in mind. The tower's foundation is anchored into the ground by huge corner supports, and the outer shell is gently raised and extended out on all four sides. The lobby is physically extended outward, creating complex drop-off zones. Number 8. Tianjin CTF Finance Center. The Tianjin CTF Finance Center is located in the Tianjin Economic Technological Development Area, a Tianjin, China, outlying district. While housing office space, luxury serviced apartments, and a hotel, the tower serves as an anchor for the larger area development. The tower tapers significantly as a result of stacking reducing floor plates, reducing the surface area exposed to wind, heat, and moisture. The facade's gently undulating curves subtly signal the convergence of three distinct programs into a single smooth entity. The floor plate geometry, which is square in plan with rounded corners, allows for unique interior fit-outs and customization options for occupants. Number 7. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center is a mixed-use building across the street from the Guangzhou International Finance Center and Canton Tower. The project is located next to a large central park and a subterranean retail concourse with transportation interchanges, allowing it to be integrated into the city and area. Guangzhou CTF Finance Center's architecture is based on the efficient synthesis of its multiple functions. Office to residential, residential to hotel, hotel to crown, and crown to sky are the four main transformation stages. The tower steps back at four angled parapets, rather than tapering to fit the smaller floor plates needed for different programs. The green sky terraces and spectacular skylights are made possible by these four setbacks. Number 6. One World Trade Center. The World Trade Center reclaims New York's skyline, reasserts Manhattan's dominance as a business center, and creates a new civic symbol for the region. It is a city and national architectural landmark that seamlessly connects to the city via connections to an extensive underground transportation network. The design approach is a creative combination of architecture, structure, urban design, protection, and sustainability, and it continues the long tradition of American ingenuity in high-rise construction. The tower is a striking symbol in the sky that pays homage to the nearby memorial. While the monument, cut out of the earth, speaks of the past and remembrance, One World Trade Center, rising upward in a faceted shape filled with and reflecting light, speaks of the future and hope. This tower is inspired by the slender, tapering triangular forms of great New York City icons like the Chrysler Building and Empire State Building, 
and it replaces nearly a quarter of the total office space lost on September 11, 2001 in a single structure. Number 5. Lot World Tower. The sleek, tapered shape of Lot World Tower will stand out from Seoul's rugged, mountainous topography, drawing inspiration from traditional Korean art forms in the design of the various interior program spaces. The tower is equipped with a wider range of functions than is typical of a tall structure. Retail, offices, a seven-star luxury hotel, and an office-tel are all part of the complex. Office-tels, which are popular in South Korean real estate, provide studio-style accommodations for people who work in the building and also include amenities like furniture, a security desk, and gym access. The top 10 floors of the building will be used for public use and entertainment, including an observation deck and a rooftop cafe. Number 4. Ping and Finance Center. The Ping and Finance Center, which is located in the city's Futian district, represents a new generation of Asian skyscrapers that are extremely tall, dense, and well-connected. Ping and Finance Center rises from a prominent downtown site, seamlessly linking to nearby commercial and residential properties as well as the Pearl River Delta's high-speed rail corridor. The tower, when completed, will represent a city that has experienced exponential urban growth, from 300,000 to approximately 10 million inhabitants, in the 35 years since it became China's first special economic zone. The tower is shaped like a taut steel cable that is simultaneously extended out by the sky and the earth. The facades taper to form a pyramid at the top of the tower, giving it a prismatic appearance. Eight composite super columns that protrude beyond the building envelope emphasize the shape. This style is not only pleasing to the eye, but it is also functional. The tower's streamlined shape increases structural and wind efficiency, lowering baseline wind loads by 35%. Number 3. Maka Royal Clock Tower. The Maka Royal Clock Tower, located in the heart of Islam's holiest city, adds a touch of modernity to Mecca's bustling historic core. The tower was built as part of the King Abdulaziz Endowment Project, and it provides comfortable quarters for devout Muslims who travel to the city every year for the Hajj. It is conveniently located next to the Grand Mosque, which has the capacity to accommodate up to 2 million worshippers during the event. The clock tower is located in the heart of the Abraj al Bayt high-rise complex. Six smaller high-rises of differing heights surround it, housing both residential and hotel uses. Four gigantic clock faces are positioned near the top of the tower, as the name suggests. The world's biggest and highest clocks are housed in these towers. One million LED lights illuminate the clock faces at night, turning the tower into a green and white beacon. The words, God is the greatest, are engraved on the north and south sides of each clock, while the Koran is inscribed on the east and west sides. Number 2. Shanghai Tower. Shanghai Tower, the third of a trio of signature skyscrapers at the heart of Shanghai's new Lujiazui Finance and Trade Zone, embodies a new tall building prototype. The new tower rises high above the skyline, its curved facade and spiraling shape symbolizing the dynamic emergence of modern China. It is located near Jin Mao Tower and Shanghai World Financial Center. As compared to a rectangular building of the same height, its twisting shape saves 24% in structural wind loading, according to wind tunnel studies. With a unique mix of restaurants, stores, offices, and hotels scattered around the site, the mixed-use tower is more than a landmark. It provides a healthy way of living in a vertical community. The program of the tower is divided into nine vertical zones. Number 1. Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa has pushed the boundaries of what is possible in supertall building architecture and engineering. The building serves as a global landmark that is both a blueprint for future urban centers and speaks to the global trend toward compact, livable urban environments by integrating cutting-edge technology and cultural influences. The tower and its surroundings are more centrally located in Dubai than any other new development. Burj Khalifa's mixed-use program, located in the heart of a new downtown community, focuses the area's construction density and offers direct links to public transit systems. The architecture of the Burj Khalifa incorporates references to Islamic architecture while still reflecting the contemporary global culture it is intended to represent. The Y-shaped plan of the building maximizes the amount of perimeter for windows in living spaces while minimizing internal unusable space. Burj Khalifa's interior space was built with over 185,800 square meters, 2 million square feet, in mind, with three key goals in mind. 
to understand and accept the building's height, to incorporate its structural and architectural rationale, and to appreciate the locale's heritage, history, and culture. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.